My name is Chef Dolce Vino. Once upon a time, I was the head chef at the Hard Rock Cafe. Unfortunately, I was fired. I decided to immerse myself in food culture, meet renowned chefs and restaurateurs, and have a little fun along the way. This is Deep Kitchen. This week, I met up with Chef Jen Fierzavala, whose expertise is cannabis cuisine. She showed me how to make a weed fried chicken, which was off the hook. Let me tell you, this bird was anything but foul. How did you get into cooking with weed? Um, you know, I sold weed when I was younger, and it's just kind of always a trade you never forget. I took two things I'm really good at. And, and you put them together? I put them together. Wow. So these are chicken thighs, which I prefer to use when I'm frying chicken. It's the best part. And I brine these, which is to leave it in a salt solution for a couple hours. In that salt solution, I used this magic sauce right here. This is called nanoparticle extracted THC and CBD. It's water activated. So I put a little water and milk, salt, sugar, and some seasoning in the brine. I added my particle extraction, let the chicken sit for like six hours, took it out, let it dry, seasoned it, and then poured a whole bunch of weed oil on it. Do you know how this is made or? Um, so the THC goes through a photosynthesis process in this like special machine that breaks it down and it turns the THC essentially into what looks like a milk. Instead of going through your digestive system, it absorbs in your bloodstream and it kicks in in like 10, 15 minutes. And then what you feel is what you feel. It doesn't creep up like okay. normal edibles. So you get high. You get really high. Wow. So you take your flour and we're gonna season it. Pepper, I like a lot of black pepper. Onion powder, paprika, garlic. And in this salt is a little bit of keef. Now what's keef? Keef is the, like the crystals that you see on your, on your flower, on your cannabis flower. Um, it's really sparkly, it's really shiny and fancy. I've taken that and decarved it and put it in some salt. So that'll be in our flower seasoning. Is that for taste or does that also? It also gets you high. So every level of this fried chicken is gonna get you ripped. Then you take your highly medicated piece of chicken thigh, put it in here. Sure you coat it really good. Do you like fried chicken? I do. I do? love fried okay. chicken. Can you cook it good? I uh, you, I specialize in more dump dump dinners. My specialty is I take ingredients and I put them together in a bowl or on a plate. Okay. Um, my preferred method of cooking would be to you know put it in the microwave for seven seven and a half minutes, uh, and you know usually I'll put some ketchup on it for taste. <laughs> So I like to do a skin side down, okay. drop the first piece in, and when you put this in, you don't want to like throw it in, obviously. Right, it'll splash. It'll splash, so um, just lay it in gently. So what I like to do is fry them, uh -huh. and then we'll finish them off in the oven to okay. make sure they're cooked all the way. So while your dish is in the uh, oven, uh, I'm going to show you how to prepare uh, a creation of my own. I've decided to make a country style breakfast pizza. Okay. Um, it's pretty simple. We're gonna start with this already opened can of biscuits. I found this a couple hours ago. You know, this is a uh, Southern style breakfast pizza. So we have gravy here. Uh, it's just some turkey gravy, traditional. Um, we're gonna just dump it. We're gonna dump it on there. You know, you're cooking with weed, yeah. uh, which is you know an, an intoxicant. Uh, so I'm gonna be working with my own, my favorite intoxicant, which is alcohol. I have some uh, bud ice here, and what I'm just gonna do is just pour it on the uh, on the substance. Give it a nice texture. And then, uh, next we have the meat. Uh, we're getting to the meat of it, which is just some uh, pork sausage. I'm just gonna just get that out on there. Next, we have some uh, egg whites in a carton, liquid egg whites. Um, this is important for the breakfast aspect of it, so we're just gonna pour that on there. 
Finally, we have uh, the piece de la resistance, which is a uh, pasteurized process topping. And uh, it's important to, uh, to remember that this is not formulated to melt, so it's gonna it stay just so it is not formulated to melt. So what we're gonna do is put this in the oven for 350 degrees, 45 minutes. We'll see what happens, but uh, I do have a finished product here that I can show you. Okay. Um, right here we have this nice country style breakfast pizza. And what we just do is just put some of that gravy on there. And then you have a perfect breakfast, Southern style. It looks and smells really good. Definitely smells something. Yeah. Good job, Chef. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we cooked this. We finished baking this off in the oven mm -hmm. at like 375. Um, I have this Thai chili sauce. This stuff is really amazing. So what I like to do is after the chicken comes out and it's really hot, I will take this sauce, which is not medicated, okay? And pour it all over the top. And then I sprinkle some green onion on, which is really important. And then there you go. Mmm. This tastes so good. It's crispy, it's juicy inside. It's completely laced with marijuana. Mm. And, you know. It doesn't taste like anything but like fried chicken, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I mean, I do taste the sauce. Okay. Um, but there's no, what I would think would be like the taste of a weed thing. That's really good. Nice. Wow. So, I give you probably like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then you'll feel be, amazing. Be high. And you'll be high. Are you sure you don't want to try some of mine? You know what? I definitely am sure. Maybe I can try that later. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. You can uh, keep you know, it. I, you I, can I, keep it. I'll keep it. Take it home. Okay. Maybe for breakfast tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, absolutely. Chef Fear. Deep Kitchen.